Welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about triangle congruency. Specifically, we are going to prove that two triangles are congruent using the side 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 and the side angle side postulate. We're going to start with the side 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 postulate and we can abbreviate and just use the letters SSS from here on out to stand for side side side. The side 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 postulate specifically says if the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle then the two triangles are congruent. So let's take a look at these two triangles here. Let's say that we're given that segment AB is congruent to segment DE. And then we're also given that segment BC is congruent to segment EF. And then we're also given that AC is congruent to segment DF. Well, this would be enough to use the side 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 postulate. We don't need to show that any of the corresponding angles are congruent. This is enough. We have three sets of corresponding sides that are congruent. We would then conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by the side 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 postulate. Let's see how we would use the side 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 postulate in a proof. Let's say that we're given that segment AB is congruent to segment AD and segment BC is congruent to segment DC. So again, we would uh, put this in our statement and that is given. And then the next thing I would want to do is mark my diagram with that given information so that I can have a plan for this proof. I'm specifically trying to prove that triangle ABC, which is my top triangle, is congruent to triangle ADC, which is the bottom triangle. Well, right now we have two sets of corresponding sides that are congruent. We need three. Well, let's take a look at AC. Both triangles share this segment. So what we would do in our proof then is say that segment AC is congruent to segment AC. And again, that is the reflexive POC. Now we have three sets of sides that are congruent. That's all we need to prove that these triangles are congruent. We would then say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC by side side side. And again, we would just need to use the letters SSS. Now, let's take a look at the side angle side postulate. And it says that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. What this means is, first of all, if we have two sides, so here I'm given our segment AB is congruent to segment DE and the included angle. Well, that means that the angle has to be in between two sets of corresponding sides. So angle B is congruent to angle E and it has to be included or in between so the next one, in order to use side angle side, I would have to have that segment BC is congruent to segment EF because again, the angle has to be in between the two sides. Well, now I have enough information and I would say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the side angle side postulate. Let's take a look at this in a proof. Well, let's say that we're given that AB is congruent to DB and EB is congruent to CB. Well, the first thing we need to do is mark our diagram. AB is congruent to BD and then, of course, EB is congruent to BC and that would be given. So right now I have two sets of corresponding sides that are congruent, but I want to use side angle side. Well, let's think about what we already know. Take a closer look. What do we know about these angles right in here? Hopefully it's jumping out at you. We have a pair of vertical angles and vertical angles are always congruent. We're going to add that angle ABE and take note that I'm using three letters. If I just used angle B, well, that doesn't properly describe that angle. I need to use all three letters. Angle ABE 
is congruent to angle CBD or I could also go angle DBC either way and the reason would be the vertical angle theorem which says that vertical angles are always congruent well now I have two sets of corresponding sides and the angle that is in between them are congruent well that's enough to prove these triangles are congruent triangle ABE is congruent to triangle DBC by the side angle side postulate. I'll see you guys in class.